Hi guys, welcome back to another travel episode with me, LV at House of Color. In this video, I'm going to take you back to Singapore and this time the kids came along too. If you're familiar with my channel, I was there last year with my girlfriends and I remember saying this place is so magical and such a fun destination for kids. We were planning the baby moon and I thought, you know what, this sounds really crazy but let's pack the kids up and take them across the world to Singapore. Yes, it's hot. Yes, it's a 16 hour flight. Yes, I'm four months pregnant. But you know what? If you know me, I'm an adventurous soul and I was ready to explore Singapore with my family. So pack up, get your passports ready, throw in the sun block because we are heading to the Lion City. It was a 16 hour flight out of San Francisco and to say that I was a little nervous was an understatement. I prayed for a smooth ride and that we all get there safe and sound. You're gonna get the red one? Yeah. Okay. After checking into the hotel, we quickly dropped our stuff off and went looking for food. We ended up in Chinatown, which was very much alive and had lots of people out and about enjoying the evening. I came across some durian, and if you guys have never had durian before, the smell will smack you silly across the face. It's super pungent, but if you can get past the stench, it tastes so good. Not everyone will agree with that statement, however, and I can only speak for myself. I'm obsessed with the forbidden fruit. First meal in Singapore. Black pepper crab. Salted egg prawns. Singapore noodles. New wonton. Veggie. Preston is such a noodle monster, and I think he loved it even more in Singapore. Everything was so fresh. It's officially our first day in Singapore. I am at the famous toast place. So this is what we ordered. It is a butter toast. Basically just butter and toast. Some eggs and the traditional Singaporean coffee. How you're supposed to eat the eggs is one teaspoon of the soy sauce. The concept is so simple, just some butter on toast and soft boiled eggs. But it was delicious and quite comforting to eat. The kids enjoyed it too. So here is the famous Michelin star Tan Tan Heine's chicken and rice. See how long the line is. When you think of a Michelin restaurant, your wallet better be ready for the tab. But here in Singapore, you can enjoy a nice Michelin meal for only five Singaporean dollars. Tan Tan's famous chicken and rice is so delicious. The chicken is tender, flavorful, and the rice is cooked to perfection. It is located at Maxwell Food Center, which is one of the many hawker stalls that serves amazing food for great prices. We also got other dishes from other stalls to try out as well. The food was so yummy, but it was extremely hot in there and the kids were burning up, so we had to leave. Just a heads up, if you guys decide to go with your little ones, make sure you bring along portable fans so they don't burn up like mine did. Guys, look how cute this is. I just came back to the room and they sent us some chocolate no. and a card. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You want chocolate? Yeah. I, I eat JJ. You ate JJ? Yeah, I ate me. You I, ate my face, Gong. I ate my face. You ate my face. 
We stayed at Marina Bay Sands for all their wonderful amenities. Of course, the infinity pool, garden by the bay, the flower dome, and cloud forest, which are super cool attractions close on property. I didn't get to see all this last time I was here, so I was excited to take the kids and explore this time around. The flower dome is described as perpetual spring where unique plants bloom. It is the largest glass greenhouse in the world. And let me just tell y'all, it was very impressive and like walking in a dream. The air was so cool and calm and there were thousands, maybe millions of trees and the most beautiful and colorful flowers from around the world. Orchids of every single shade and species. It was magical. Right next door is the Cloud Forest attraction, which really lives up to its name of being a forest in the clouds. It was misty, full of greenery, and houses the world's tallest indoor waterfall. It felt very zen to be there. We were surrounded by tropical plants, exotic ferns, and colorful orchids of every kind. I've never seen anything like these exhibits. Everything was so grand and beautiful. It really made me appreciate Mother Earth a little more and to do my part in sustaining the environment. You guys, we're standing by the AC. Ah! We got a little nauseous at the end because we were so high up and it was just glass everywhere. After a very active day out and about, it was time to relax and enjoy the fabulous infinity pool. Now, for my viewers with young kids, pool life pre-children includes a nice book, perhaps a cocktail, and nothing on your mind but adding kids to the scenario. Now it's all about them, making sure they're having fun, safe, and within arm's reach. Not exactly the same experience the last time I was here with my girlfriends, but that's okay. Seeing the pure joy on their face made everything totally worth it. Preston, hold on tight, okay? Hi, Dad. <laughs> Preston, you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> It is dinner time. We are at Jumbo Seafood. It's the Clark Key location by the Riverwalk. And it's beautiful here. Hi. What's that? I can't walk. What? Stand right here, baby. Too close to the water, okay? Hold my hand, please. Singapore is famously known for its chili crab and jumbo seafood came highly recommended as the place to eat this delectable dish. It comes super saucy, a little sweet, a little spicy with a side of fresh buns so you can dip it in the sauce. Honestly, I think that was my favorite part of the dish itself, the dipping of the warm buns in the sauce. It was so good and a lot better than I remembered it last time. The crab is a Sri Lankan crab and tasted super fresh as if it was just caught minutes before making its way to our table. Make sure you make reservations for dinner though, especially on the weekends as their restaurant tends to be booked out. Good morning everyone, it's about 7.30. And we are out here at the pool. I am in my pajamas. We are not in swimming attire because we just came up here to check out the pool because they open at 6. So we wanted to just come out here and relax and maybe have a drink. Right? You want a drink? Yeah. Okay. Where your drink go? Where your drink go? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Is this the coolest pool you've ever seen? Yeah. Ah! My leg. My leg. Hmm? What? Your leg? Yeah. Okay. Let's see it. Whoa! Splash, 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 splash! Go eat with JJ on the other side. Go, Preston. We are here at the Hawker Chan restaurant. This is the very first Hawker stall to get a Michelin star. The original Dan that got it, he did so well, so he opened this location. This has air conditioning and has seats. I'm a food expert and I hardly pay attention to Michelin anything. 
But when the taxi driver told us about this famous chicken and noodles for only four Singaporean dollars, I knew I had to check it out. The chicken was so tasty, bursting with lots of flavor. It was cooked in a light soy sauce and soft enough that it melted in your mouth. The egg noodles were drenched in the same sauce and I expected to be on the salty side, but it was so light, kind of sweet, a hint of sour, and just pure perfection in your mouth. It was so good. Preston ate almost the entire dish. After lunch, we went to the Art Science Museum, which featured really cool interactive installations with a digital playground for kids and adults alike. One of the rooms provided drawing paper where you could decorate your sea animal and then it came to life on screen right then and there. My favorite exhibit and probably the most famous one was space. It's a celestial world that made you feel like you were in an alternate Fantasia universe with infinite crystals, glitter and sparkle. It twinkled and shined and felt very dreamlike. Superheroes Cafe, are you excited? Yeah. Connected to the museum is the shops at Marina Bay Sands and also the Superheroes Cafe. We knew Preston would absolutely love it there, so of course, we had to take him. Everything was superhero themed, from the food to the desserts, the drinks, figurines, you name it, it had a superhero on it and Preston was absolutely loving every single second of it and ate all his food. Who knew a slice of cheese in the shape of Batman would get him to eat everything? The Batman! The Batman? The picture looks like the Batman cheese. Not We're at the pool again. Say hello. Come on! Being that it was our last day at MBS, we headed to the pool one final time to soak up some sun. The Infinity Pool is iconic to Singapore and such an amazingly beautiful place to unwind. The views are breathtaking and it's been voted best rooftop pool by many publications year after year. It's definitely something you should experience for yourself one of these days. I highly recommend checking it out if you're ever in Singapore. in Chinatown. Fish, dumpling noodle soup, chicken curry set. You hungry? Yeah? Okay. It was day three and our plans were to visit Resorts World Sentosa. There were lots of things to do there. They had Universal Studios, one of the largest aquariums in the world, a huge water park, and many restaurants and shopping. Fresh orange juice from a vending machine. Ready to drink. The boys really loved the aquarium in Vegas and I knew they would love this one even more since it was huge and had lots of creatures. It was so sweet to see Jameson's eyes light up in excitement and point and say fish when they swam by. Children are so innocent and the pure joy they have with the simple things brings such warmth to my heart. I love being able to give them these kind of experiences and this video to show them when they are older. 
Honestly, I was pretty impressed with the aquarium myself. It was so beautiful and of course, water always brings a sense of tranquility to me. Oh, okay. After exploring the aquarium, we stopped by a giant candy factory on the way out to pick up some sweets and ice cream for the ride back to the hotel. Sentosa is definitely very family friendly and has so many attractions for kids. We are currently at McDonald's and I got a matcha buster. We headed back to the hotel and as I mentioned earlier, we switched from Marina Bay Sands to the Park Royal on Pickering, which is conveniently located in Chinatown. My girlfriend told me about this place last time and I really wanted to check out the hotel because it looked super cool and plush like a green oasis garden. And so we decided to stop and look at this, you guys. So we got some razor clam, cockles, pineapple fried rice, some veggies. Oh, another dish is coming up. Thank you. Yummy, y'all. We were actually on our way to try this Michelin rated stone pot hawker stall, but I saw this street vendor that had some delicious looking seafood, so we decided to eat here instead. That's the beauty of traveling. Plans take a different turn at any minute, and I love the spontaneity of that. Dinner was so good, my favorite dish were the cockles. It was simply prepared, just boiled, but the sauce was the star. Good morning. Hello. Hello. You ready? Yeah. Okay. It was our last day in Singapore and since our flight wasn't until later that night, I called downstairs to see if they could give us a later checkout. I was so happy when they gave us a 2pm checkout time. See, you never know unless you ask. So we headed downstairs for the breakfast buffet and let me just tell you guys, the food spread was amazing. There was so much to choose from. One of my absolute favorite things when traveling abroad is to eat the hotel breakfast buffet. It's not like the US at all where they give you some coffee and maybe pastries. These buffets are extravagant and loaded with options. There's always fresh fruit and yummy food. We are currently at the pool. I'm gonna show you guys around. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. There's a new part of me 
part I want you to see. The biggest feature of the Park Royal on Pickering is its unique design for being a hotel and a garden. There's extensive greenery throughout the building with plush plant walls and sky gardens. Not only is the hotel an architectural work of art, it is designed to be super eco-friendly and the sky garden is self-sustained using only minimal energy and harvested rainwater to grow. Thank you. Like it? It's cold. It's cold. We walked to Chinatown to grab some lunch and I bought a durian ice cream which was absolutely amazing. However, it was so hot today and Preston was burning up so we had to get back to some AC before he overheated. Poor guy. I have to go pick up some Irvin salted egg chips. Found it. the airport guys and we've got a very long wait in time it's about 3 p.m. and our flight doesn't take off till 9 so we are going to explore Changi Airport which is the number one airport in the world our first stop is this little Korean fried chicken place mm. some rice and chicken for the kids some spicy green wings and seaweed fries We are entering Jewel now. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is an airport, y'all. I just want to remind you guys. I've seen photos of Jewel at Changi Airport and I must say, pictures does not do it justice whatsoever. When you think of an airport, you certainly don't think of waterfalls and rainforests, but Jewel is absolutely magnificent. It's linked to the terminals and you don't have to have a boarding pass to access this part of the airport. The Grand Rain Vortex, also known as the Waterfall, is centered in the atrium surrounded by a terrace forest of greenery and flowers. There is a huge mall with countless restaurants and the Canopy Park at the top level featuring lots of attractions for the kids, such as a maze, sky net, slides, and a misty playground. As we wrapped up the family baby moon in Singapore, I wanted to add some final thoughts about our trip. It was definitely treacherous and full of surprises taking the kids on a very long flight across the world, but I'm so glad we have these memories to look back on. Before having children, we traveled often and I really thought I'd have to leave that nomad life a distant chapter of the past, but it doesn't have to be like that. Bring the kids along and showing them the world with fresh eyes has been rewarding, satisfying, and priceless. I know traveling with kids has its stress factors, but like I said on my Instagram post, 25 years from now, you'll remember all the fun you had. These memories are precious, the stories you'll share, and the pictures that's worth a million words. It's all worth it in the end. We'll always remember Singapore with our little family of four. Next time we come back here, we'll have a new addition to the family. quick mukbang for you. Had to go get more mango steams because they're my favorite. Mm, so good. So usually you would cut it with a knife but I don't have one on hand. All you have to do is break it up. Mm, do you see that? 